As Neil takes to the road this weekend, Shirley will be taking her seat behind the Strictly Judges table. Yes, and as we were saying a little bit earlier on, Shirley has been back to the streets where she grew up to meet some of those who've been with her every step of the way. I'm Shirley Ballas, and I've been dancing all my life. I'm three times Open to the World British Latin American champion and ten times United States champion. But it all started here in Liso on the Wirral in Merseyside. I grew up here on the Liso housing estate and I've come home today to see my 80-year-old mum, Audrey. I come from a very small family. There was my mother, my brother David and myself. Yeah. There's the two children where I'm well behaved and David was a rascal, you said, right? Yes. I don't really know how my mother did it. She raised two children on her own and we were on welfare. I owe my mum everything. It's because of her I am who I am and all the sacrifices that she made so that I could dance will forever be in my heart. Growing up on the Liso housing estate was never easy and people used to say, once you get on that housing estate, you never get off. So I used to live in a block of flats over there and then I moved here when I was probably six or seven. I used to get everybody in the front yard and all the kids from the neighborhood and line them all up and be doing the cha-cha-cha and bossing them about and I'd be the judge <laughs> from a very young age. Show them the steps and then I'd be the one that was doing the judging. We're now at St. Chad's Church where it all started when I was seven years old and I have not been back here since I left at 11. I'm meeting my very first dance partner, Irene Hamilton. We danced the all girls together when we were seven years old. Good to see you. There's a trip down memory lane, isn't it? <laughs> Where it all began, when we oh. were little. Yeah. Many, many years ago. Many years ago. Many years ago. Right. I'm losing the world now. <laughs> Still looks the same, huh? same floor, great floor. Going to dancing in St. Chad's Church Hall, I remember it was about 15 pence per class. Back then it was a lot of money and the dance class for me was an escape. It was, it was just another world. It's like being in Disney, it was amazing for me. God, it feels just like it did when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> same routine, same place. That's the routine we did as children. She always danced the man. I got the girl part, yeah. but she was a better leader than me. I still don't have any leading skills. <laughs> still working on them. I got my first lucky break when I was about 11, and I got the opportunity to attend the amazing Crown Studios with Margaret Redmond, and to be taught by her, it was amazing. I truly felt I'd arrived. And what do you remember about me as a young girl? I remember you being very eager. You always came prepared for your class, and I think, actually, you were so easy to teach. Okay, sometimes a little rebellious, but mainly very, very, very easy to teach. I could see that you had something that was going to take you a long way in the dancing world. Margaret Redmond was really my first competitive coach and she became a huge influence in my life from everything, not just dancing. She taught me about life, she gave me confidence and she truly made me believe that any dream I set for myself, it was possible, even if I came from a council estate. She said, dream big, Shirley. I'm hoping that my mother will come and watch the first live show, but she's like everybody else in the country. She wants to watch it from her living room. So what do you think about this next part of the journey with Strictly? Well, it's a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? But I think we'll be fine. I think you'll enjoy it. You know, do you know what's the most exciting part about this Strictly? Mm. Is enjoying this journey with you, because without you, there would be no Strictly journey. Oh, well, I'm so grateful. Thank you. <laughs> with you tonight. Isn't she, Audrey? What did you make of the film? Oh, look, she's got oh, ten the, the ten film. paddle. Yeah. Ten for the film. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> nice to see you, Audrey. Enjoy Strictly this weekend. 
<laughs> yes. Well, we're going to pick up on that thought, actually, Shirley, of, of your mum getting you into dancing. And then, of course, now you've got your son into the world of entertainment. And Mark, I mean, as far as Dancing with the Stars is concerned, mm. he's, he's, he's won that twice. Yes, he's won Dancing the with States. the Stars twice. And he's just about now, he's just on his launch and he's going to do Dancing with the Stars over there while I'm doing Strictly over here. Oh, my word. Oh, and yeah. so what has he said to you about all of this then? Or was it, was it kind of, it was, was it him that got you? It was. He gave me a little bit of a, of a nudge, you know, and said, uh, why don't you try? I've heard Len maybe wanting to retire. Why don't you have a little go? And I think you're qualified and you'll enjoy it. And uh, so I did. And uh, when I got the job and the phone call, I fell to my knees. He was the first person I called. And as soon as on FaceTime, when it opened up, he just looked. He said, you got it, didn't you, Mummy? You did. Aww. So, yeah, he's uh, there all the time, every day. We're exchanging and sharing. So, And the people in charge at Strictly obviously thought that you were more than qualified because you are not just going on as a judge. You are, in fact, head judge, aren't you? Head judge. So what pressure comes with that then, Shirley? Well, I don't think it comes particularly with the pressure because I think my job is just to be as honest as I can mm -hmm. and critique exactly what I'm mm. seeing at the moment and to give people, uh, you know, good critique so that they can carry forward each week. So yes. I'm really looking forward to and the journey part. I'm looking forward to the journey of each person. So yes. got yeah. a great you've got to have a journey. People. Yeah. And do you have a thing? Do you have a thing that you, you know really gets you? I mean, Craig, he can't bear thumbs when you get. Well, your Craig thumbs can't in the bear right anything to be fair. <laughs> no. uh, Darcy's very into the arms. Yeah. And, she's and Bruno's into the, into the passion, but... isn't he? Yeah. And it... I'm very much into grounding your weight and the technical aspect of it and which mm. part of your foot are you going to use? Is it your heel, your toe, your inside edge? Where are you rolling? Where are you closing? How do you? your feet and of course I love synchronization because your arms are as long as your legs so yes, you have to yes. coordinate the upper half with the lower half and then you have to have chemistry and then you have to bring a performance of a lifetime week in week out wow. so not so. much then really is what you're no saying. I'm a bit all around really you know <laughs> so fantastic. Um, you love the ballroom dancing I, I love the Argentine tango you do oh, and the yes. Viennese waltz is that right? I love it, Very yes. Very sexy. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I mean, you are, you are the Latin queen, though. I mean, that's going to be the thing for you, isn't it? Well, I, I started off really in the ballroom. I danced with a gentleman called Nigel Tiffany, who was the British ballroom champion at the time. I got an opportunity and uh, trained in the ballroom. We were in right. the semi-final of the Close British in the ballroom and way back in the Latin. And then I got spotted by my dance coach who said, you know, I really feel that you have a flair for Latin. Mm -hmm. And I got an opportunity when I was seven to dance with Sammy Stockford, who taught me all about the industry and was shot straight to third place in a, the professional mm. at 17. And is it right that you can tell by looking at somebody within two seconds whether they're going to be any good at Latin? I can tell when they walk down the stairs. Can you? <laughs> I can. <laughs> all right, well, we've got a picture of this year's cast here. They're not walking down any oh. stairs, though, to be fair. Now, without giving anything away, I mean, let's just tell us who do you think might be the king and queen of Latin, just by looking there. I mean, we've well, not I'm seen actually them dance. not. I think they're all kings and queens. I oh, think, Shirley! I think when I watched them all walk down the stairs the other day, they were all just had a stride in their step, and they came out and they did their little group number, and they were all having so much fun that it was. I was just taken with the moment. So yeah. I think at the moment, for me, they're all kings and queens, and let's see how it goes throughout Fair the season. Enough. Very Fair diplomatic. Enough. Yes. Start there. Well, to get us in the mood, um, we're going to see some ex-contestants have a little dance. We're not asking you to judge, um, and you, you just might recognise them. <laughs> no, we're not asking you to judge. Please don't judge. <laughs> oh, it's you! So this is me. Yeah, that, this was me oh, doing, Matt, the, uh, you go. doing the samba uh, back in the day when I was a lad. <laughs> Look at that, and a nice Botafogo. Wow, Thank that's you. pretty impressive. The Botafogo Rolling goes. off the arm there. There you wow. go. And then we're into uh, Oh, Hang About, Tango oh, Time. Oh, no! Oh. Have you studied, or is that natural? Uh, oh, oh, it's you... very natural, isn't <laughs> it? Oh, and a bit of passion there going. Oh, <laughs> it takes you back, So you've it? both done it. This was yeah, the most nerve-wracking thing. Yeah. It was in Wembley, that particular show. Wow. Oh. Wow. We did. Oh, really we really enjoyed and it. And being with that family And the amazing. contestants this year are in for a treat. Yeah. I mean, it is such a fantastic show to do. Oh, and the places we've danced since, Al. <laughs> we've been at Buckingham Palace and we're still dancing. Oh. <laughs> anyway, it's all good, anyway. yeah. Good luck with it all. Yeah, sure thank you. Thank we're very you much looking forward to now, um, Saturday. We are indeed. And Strictly isn't the only time on a show.